What's up guys, EG Turk here, and today I'm going to bring a quick tutorial in the Kerbal Space Program. This tutorial will be looking briefly and hopefully informatively into the asparagus formation on launching a rocket. You guys have seen me use it in my missions, and I want to run a quick tutorial as to why and what the quick principles are underneath it. So basically, it starts off, you have a central craft. This is what the orange cylinder represents and then you have six outer stages which are all these little ones these smaller state uh, tanks on the girders these girders are set off to decouple in pairs so the these two here then these two here then these two here and the reason why asparagus is so efficient at doing its weight is it means that you use only one tank of fuel set of tanks at a time and you keep the other ones going but they're all burning at once so every engine's burning but you're only using one set of tanks each so what it means is as you well, the way Kerbal Space Program works is the engine is attached to a tank so if I do wait if I just put an engine so The engine is attached to a tank. This engine will burn this tank's fuel and it carries on for the whole ring. What the asparagus means is that everything is feeding, so this tank is feeding into this tank, which is feeding into this tank, which is feeding into this tank, and this one to this one to this one to the center one. So they're all feeding to the center one via the other two. So essentially they're all burning fuel, but the out the first or the most the last stage is refilling each of the other tanks. So only this one's going down while these ones all stay neutral. So that means these two tanks will empty, but these five will still have fuel. So then you'll have these two empty and then these three still have full fuel. And that goes down until you have the central column, which has still got full fuel, and by that point you're setting up your orbit and you're in space. This is probably the most efficient way it's, it's set up, and it's the best way I've seen it done, and it's probably the only way I'm going to do it for a long time. So, if you give me a few seconds, I'll set up a quick up launch stage just to prove the pushing power of it. I'll be back in a second guys. Right, so I'm back guys, and this is our quick ship. It's just got one main tank, a uh, main sail, and smaller tanks with a couple of uh, nuclear engines, atomic engines. There's nothing fancy, it's literally just to demonstrate how the staging works. So you see that there's a pair of decouplers here, there's a pair of decouplers here, there's another pair of decouplers here. So that means you fire off in three pairs. So I'll quickly just launch off. You see how there's two going down here. These two are going down together. And they're empty. You have these two going down together. These two are going down together. And this one's the main one. So we'll remove them. And then you've got pairs going down again. But notice how every time I decouple a stage, the fuel goes back up. That's because it's basically it's updating and saying, actually wait, I've got full fuel. And then you have this main tank, which usually is enough for what I use for setting up an orbit. But other than that, that is the asparagus launch, and I'm just going to spire out of control now for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any more questions or ideas for more tutorials, send them in. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.